Hi guys, Malky here from Lone Star Marine. Once again, coming to you from Rye, Victoria. This is video number two in our how-to series, how to spoil your beautiful brand new GX series winch up with rope. Okay, so you have the winch mounted into your boat. You need to get the rope onto the drum. You'll notice that on the shaft, you have a solid shaft here, a solid stainless steel, and you'll have a hoop. I'll just tilt it up a bit so you can see that. You've got a hoop on the shaft here. Now you can attach your rope in a couple of different ways. But in both ways, you go through the, ho the hoop and around the shaft. And then do your knot. You don't just tie it to the loop. The loop is to hold the line in place, but you want to go around the shaft to make sure that it's always connected if you get to the end. So we've simply gone through the loop and around the shaft. We're going to do a uni knot. It's a simple fishing knot. Now, if you don't know how to do a uni knot, you should learn as fast as possible. It's one of the most useful knots we use in fishing. So it's very simple, a couple of turns. That cinches down, and that's going to lock right up. And that's a very, very strong knot. You get 100% strength with it. Uh, and that's a very simple, easy way to do it. Now, there is another way to attach the rope uh, to the shaft, which will get rid of that sort of lump when you go to spool it up. It's a little bit more involved, but in a nutshell, it's a series of half hitches. So to do it this way, you're gonna need a long tag length, about a meter of line, and all you do is you simply go around the shaft and back through the middle, and you do this over and over and over again, seven or eight times. And that's going to start to lock up. Now it's very important that you do these knots in the same direction as you're spooling the rope. So you, you can see the knots are going under the spool. In this instance, I'm going to spool the rope on the same way, like this. If I was going to spool the rope on from over the spool, I come to the other side and I do the knots the other way. But very simple, series of half hitches and these will all lock against each other. under a bit of tension. So I'll just turn this around for you so you can see. That's what your half hitches look like. They pack up very well, and doing it this way means that there's no real lump when you go to spool this on. When you go to spool it on, it's very important that you have the line under a lot of pressure. So you need two people, you need one person on the switch, another guy standing at the bow with a pair of gloves. When you spool it on, Make sure it's under a lot of tension, just like an overhead fishing reel. You don't want to put it on there loose. You want it stacked neatly, side by side. If you mess up, tell your operator to back it out for a second. Put it on really tight, that's key. If you load it on right the first time, you are most likely will never have an issue with bunching or the chain jamming or anything like that. But it's got to be loaded on tight and neatly. If you were to load it on loosely, the first time you're under pressure. So you go drop your anchor, you're in a bit of swell, bit of wind, a few waves. That line's gonna dig in on itself, just like an overhead reel, and it's gonna uh, get snagged, and you'll be at the bow of your boat yanking on it to break it free. So that's pretty simple. Uh, that's how you attach the line to your spool, and how to load the spool as well. Lots of tension. Now when you take it out for the first time, and you get it wet and you put it under pressure, that rope's gonna stretch even further and it's gonna pack even more tightly on the drum. So when you first fill it, especially say a GX1, GX2, your rope and chain's gonna be quite full. It'll be right up to the edge. After you take it out a few times, it's been under a bit of load, bit of pressure, your overall diameter is gonna shrink a bit, which is gonna give you a bit more room to play with with your chain coming back on the drum. 